What amazes you about the opposite sex? How many hair bands have they bought in their life? And how they all vanish from the face of the earth. My girlfriend brought a pack of 30 or so and within a couple of weeks they had all vanished. To be honest, I am guilty of secretly throwing away most of my sister's hair bands to the attic. Now since I'm keeping my hair long, I understand the pain they went through. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay you'll say it B-O-O-B-S. I'm amazed it's taken this long. I honestly expected just this repeatedly. They're awful when they're your own. My poor back. I imagine it's like a pool. I like to use someone else's pool. I don't want the upkeep of my own. I was gonna say if no one posted boobs, I'd be highly disappointed. Their laughs. Something about the way most dudes laugh is so wholesome. Just deep. Full belly. Happy laughs. Bonus points if they throw their heads back as they do it. Women can laugh the same of course but there's something in the way men do that just make me feel really happy. The whole monthly period thing seems like total bullshit. I'm not sure I could handle such consistent betrayal by my body. I can barely manage a minor allergic reaction, let alone full on bleeding and cramps and shit. Definitely a design flaw. Totally a design flaw. Wouldn't it make more sense to just maintain a sufficient uterine lining to support a pregnancy all the time than bleeding it out and having to rebuild it every freaking month? What a waste of resources. And from a reproductive standpoint, maintaining it would lead to a greater window of potential pregnancy. A lot of mammals have a better designed system. Ours is stupid. I don't think people are downvoting you because they're disagreeing with you. Well, some might. I think they're downvoting you because you're not really contributing to the conversation. You wrote three words and didn't even explain yourself. It's the equivalent of someone simply posting this below a poster who actually had something to say and contributed to the question. Not trying to ruffle your feathers. I actually upvoted you. Just trying to offer some perspective why you might be getting downvoted. I mean... With the crazy shti our bodies do it does seem like evolution could have been a pal and found a painless way and less messy way to do this. But evolution doesn't always pick the best way, just whichever way happened to work, there's likely many more efficient ways to procreate than our system. Tiddy. Guys have them too. Female tiddy. They have two holes. Anus, vagina, mouth, two nostrils, two ear holes, that's seven. Chandler, there are seven? You forgot the urethra so it's eight. The orgasms, I hear they're nicer. Multiple orgasms. Prove it. What? I don't know why you're being downvoted. While not necessarily common, it's not that rare either. I didn't know what a real orgasm felt like until last year, in my mid-twenties. Masturbating also gives a different kind of orgasm for me personally. It's not nearly as good. This might not be exclusive to men but I'm always amazed when my BF will forget to eat all day, or have nothing but a bowl of cereal and coffee all day and not be in tears by dinner time. I don't think that's exclusive to one sex. Some people just don't have much of an appetite by default. That you're attracted to men at all. As a straight man, I don't see what's attractive about us ugly apes. I'm not complaining though. Right. My brain can't comprehend why anyone would be attracted to the average man. Speak for yourselves. I'm ducking majestic. But. But I did speak for myself. Do it again. Guys are beautiful, rugged, unkempt, full. They have this all-encompassing quality, so their hugs feel like being in a nice warm cocoon. And there's something really endearing about a guy's smile, 
especially when he isn't super expressive and he has that one teeny little moment where he breaks from neutral and you see the teeniest sparkle in his eyes, and a good male musk is nice and earthy and rich, but that's more a biological response than anything else it's a lot like what makes a tree beautiful, or a really old abandoned building where the plants are growing back in, not prim, not perfectly put together, sort of just there, obviously super generalized and super personal preference, but yeah. That was the most eloquent description of attraction to the male species I have ever read. That anyone is attracted to men is proof that we can't choose our sexuality. Their dongle, and having to adhere to societal expectations of masculinity both physically and emotionally, sa, short guys shouldn't feel bad about their height. It's a security dongle, you have to plug it in to access the paid content. That ass. You're welcome. Sometimes I feel like, as a man, less people notice mine, but I put the time in, do the squats. Glad to hear someone appreciates. Amazing how a man's ass and a woman's ass are so very similar, but the female ass is amazing, and the male ass makes me want to vomit. That you can walk and run around with a floppy super sensitive external organ between your legs like it's no big deal like bro, how? They can literally just throw on an outfit not even brush their hair or teeth and it'd be okay. You know it's okay for you too, right? The outfit and hair I get but not even brushing your teeth, yikes. Why are my hoodies in danger all of a sudden? How do men do those really loud sneezes? I wish I could. My shower currently has three different sets of shampoo conditioner bottles, so six in total. Does my wife cycle through them all I'll ever know. I have one bottle of shower gel shampoo combo off by itself in the corner. Combo I have one bottle of shower gel shampoo combo off by itself in the corner, and it's also a floor polish and a dessert topping. You can 3D print a full, new human in only 40 weeks. The fact women take the compliments they get for granted when us men can get one and it will make our whole year. My GF and I were cuddling and she said it now, you have really nice triceps and shoulders bro I've still got the high. Bruh, I think I just got a contact high. Genuine respect for anyone who has chronic back pain or sleeping issues because of boobs. They look nice, yes, but duck in hell that sounds awful. How the duck do you fit a melon-sized object out of a coin-sized hole? Answer, it rips open bruh. Men can sit and do nothing, quietly and contently, for longer than any other creature I've ever encountered. The capability of them to be working and living like a normal human being while bleeding out of their bajingo. I seriously cannot imagine doing that. Trust me, it's not fun. How guys can lose weight and gain muscle quickly. Testosterone and the fact that guys on average have a higher muscle mass than women. Unless you're a top athlete, chances any guy will be stronger. Not true. Guys do have an easier time gaining muscle and losing fat. Testosterone and sexual dimorphism is real. It's called biology. IDK. Everything about my so amazes me. They have a lifetime supply of clothes but can never find anything to wear. How can women act like their best friends when together but start talking mad shit about another as soon as they separate? Dudes don't hesitate to talk match tea face to face and either respect or fight each other for it, but there are no hard feelings after an issue has been dealt with. I hate this stereotype because guys most certainly cause drama. Don't BS, I was exclusively friends with boys for a while and I can say for damn certain that boys have drama and are petty bitches sometimes. The fact that you handle criticism worse than childbirth. I would have never known you PM women peeing pics. 
Yes, it ducking does. How long are we going to uphold this women are catty and crazy and men are chill bullshit? I never saw girls beating each other up for the most stupid shit. Being shit and gossipy isn't exclusive to women. This is a people problem. Making it gendered is irresponsible and misleading. I think you need to find new people. Damn dude save some PSSY for the rest of us. I could ask the same thing about my exes. Thinking face. Thinking face. Oh. Here's a thought. Maybe it's not a gendered issue.